Alright guys, welcome back, and today we have the two episode premiere of The Acolyte. This is a show I am very interested in, simply because it takes place in the High Republic era, which is like toward the end of the High Republic era, like a hundred years before The Phantom Menace, and it's just an era of Star Wars that we've never got to explore in live action, so that's just really exciting. So let's check out episode one, Lost and Found. A hundred years before the rise of the Empire, it is a time of peace. The Jedi Order and the Galactic Republic have prospered for centuries without war, but in the dark corners of the galaxy, a power powerful few learn to use the Force in secret. One of them, a lone assassin, risks discovery to seek revenge. Why don't you do it in a crawl? I'm liking the practical effects so far. We have unfinished business. Attack me. Mm. Oh. Oh. Nice. I have an unidentified force user. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. What are you doing here? I'm here to kill you. Oh, you must be the acolyte. Oh. Ah. -ha -ha -ha. Brought knives to a lightsaber fight. Bad idea. Oh. -ho -ho. Damn. It will make a fine addition to my collection. Oh. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, inside voices, pet. <laughs> Gonk! What I do with my days off is none of your business, Philip. Ah, uh, no rest for the wicked. Well, the wicked rest, they just don't Ooh. brag about it. Nemoidians! Uh, the, uh, mechnics are on it, Captain. Ah, the grease grubbers are disposable. Our cargo is not. You know, we can hear you. Uh, I love how the lips don't match up, kind of like the prequels. Gauge is Yo! And that was the pressure valve. Where's R2 when you need him? The Republic has legislated that only droids may perform out of ship repair. Uh, uh. Sub level, Bunk 23. Thank you for your cooperation. I like the robes. When did you join the Order? When I was eight, Lord knows all of this. A major concern about admitting you to the Order was your age. And the fact that you were mourning. Mm. You lost your entire family. Your mothers, your sister, your village all died in the fire before Master Soul brought you into the Jedi. Your training was difficult, to say the least. Parallels here. That's her! She killed the Jedi and ruined my- Oh. Now that you've been identified, the prison transport will take you back to Coruscant. Haha! 
The Jedi Temple! Yeah, we know. We must not trust them. Squid Game Guy! Ugh. It's a parasite used to subdue violent criminals. Oh. Yeah, oh. Is it hurting him? No way, he's having a great time. It does weird stuff. <laughs> We're planning an escape. You win. <laughs> Did those drawers just become chairs? Ugh. Whoa! Okay. No. You have the force. Ugh. Whoa, okay. Ugh. Oh. Another happy landing. What is it, Jackie? Sorry to disturb you, Master. Vanessa Rowe requests your presence at the- Hey, it's X-23! It wasn't our idea! <laughs> Worked out well for you boys. Welcome to the Himalayas! Or Karlak. Ooh. Hey! Uh... An Eskimo. Master Salt. Oh. <laughs> Yod. Pay your clothes on. <laughs> oh. She's hallucinating. Hello, Osha. Me. Hello, sister. Ah. And there's the fire. You're with me. I'm with you. Always one, but born as two. Always one, born as two? Did you kill Indara? Yes. I will kill them all. Ugh. Oh, wait. Wait, so is it really not her? Is it, is it, was it, was it her sister we saw in the opening? She had a twin. I didn't know Osha was a twin. It's not in her file. Do you think that... No. May is dead. Oh, but she isn't. No, oh, yeah. Stop! In the name of the Republic and the Jedi Order! No. Uh. Please, Saul! Believe me! I did Oh! Stop! The Jedi live in a dream. Ooh. If you attack a Jedi with a weapon, you will fail. Steel or laser are no threat to them. Who are you? An acolyte kills without a weapon. An acolyte kills the dream. Ooh, cool. Okay, a, a solid first episode, I think. This episode just did a good job of kind of just setting the stakes for the story and just like providing like most of like what we need to know introducing us to like the main characters in conflict which is this sith 
acolyte, this like assassin that is killing Jedi. And the assassin's name is Mei, who is the twin sister of Osha, who is a former Jedi. This is like kind of setting like the president for like what's gonna happen in the Phantom Menace with like the Sith returning and all that. Like this is like sort of the first of that. It's like this is a time of peace in the galaxy and there has been peace for like many, many years at this point. Like the Jedi, like at this point really are like the protectors of the peace or whatever and like they are much more like reserved and like like not as willing to like draw draw their weapon like like they're like the soldiers that they become like in the clone wars like this era of the jedi is more or less like what the jedi are like thought to be instead of like what they actually turned out to be in like the prequels they were just corrupt assholes i find it very weird that you would cast carrie ann moss in like one of your like supposedly like lead roles like she's on all the posters and everything and she dies within the first minutes of the first episode like that seems like a bit of a waste and i and i like how this like really feels like star wars like we have like, like there's just a ton of just pra practical aliens like everywhere and just like the architecture and all that i mean it really does feel like star wars and hey it is a two episode premiere so let's jump into episode two revenge and justice Aliga local jedi temple that's a thing Hmm. We have unfinished business. Did she say it to all of them? Attack me. With all your strength. She has a routine, I see. Hmm. <laughs> Force field. <laughs> that was cool. I'm running out of time. You're running out of Jedi. And if you think a sleeping monk is tough, good luck defeating a Wookiee. <laughs> I would like to speak with Master Tobin, please. Master Tobin hasn't spoken to anyone in over ten years. But he will speak to me. So he just sits in there and meditates forever, all day, every day, 24-7, 365. Or receive the forgiveness you seek. Right here, right now, from me. Hmm. I've been waiting for you, mate. He speaks. We thought we were doing the right thing. No. Ah. May, uh, are you okay? Did the poison work? Sure did. You killed Torben without the poison. He will be so pleased. Mmm. Go. <laughs> oh. Who is he? Whoa, 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 wait. Hold on. Back away. <laughs> now I supply people like her with what they need for the right price. Well, maybe you could supply us with the truth. Who is he? Uh, I, I thought he was with you. <laughs> All I know is that she wants revenge on four Jedi. Four specifically. Well, she's already killed two. I'm assuming she probably wants revenge on Saul, and then one other one. Not yet. I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, he said the line. She wants to kill four Jedi. Stationed on Brendock 16 years ago. Indara, Torben, Kelnaka, and you. Kelnaka. So yeah, she wants revenge on the Jedi that were there on the night of the fire that couldn't save them. <laughs> ah! 
I like the hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's different. Woo! She's she's always trying to swipe the lightsaber. Ah! You have misunderstood the Jedi arts. Your master has failed you. Tell me, who trained you? You fool! I've been trained in the Jedi arts by Count Dooku. My sister is dead! Osha is alive. You lie! <laughs> Ooh! Whoa! Dirt screen. Whoa! Ah! Ah! I can get us out of this city. And go where? Kofar. What the hell is Kofar? A relaxing forest retreat in the Outer Rim, where the Wookiee Jedi lives. Oh! Oh, she's alive. I know. He's gone! Come on! <laughs> Outer Rim Kashyyyk. Jesetta, La Doma, Toma, Mota, on Takupu Pach. Keputa de Seta. Kaba, Tramski Risky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. That was cool. To seeing a live action Wookiee use the force like that, like we've never seen that before. That was so cool. I can't wait to see more of him in action. That's gonna be really cool. So far, I'm enjoying this show. I like I like the tone where it's sort of like this like crime thriller. Like it's definitely a different tone for Star Wars, and it's different. I like that. And I like the mystery that they're setting up with this, whoever this like Sith Master is. And the choreography in these first two episodes has been great. Like, there hasn't been like a lot of lightsaber combat yet, but like like the hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is like nice and different that we haven't got to see in a lot of live action Star Wars. It's like it's very well choreographed and I enjoyed it. Like it's very martial arts focused and I and like obviously like the lightsaber combat is very like samurai inspired, like those classic Japanese films that George Lucas watched. But like this is like like the specifically the hand to hand combat is really cool. So overall, I enjoyed these first two episodes. I think it's a good start for this series. Nothing's really wowed me yet, but I like what they're setting up for this series and how it's different from really anything else we've ever gotten from Star Wars. So that's gonna do it for my reaction to the first two episodes of the Acolyte. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.